in Titus chapter 2 and verse 11, the grace of God is spoken about. It states, for the grace of God, the salvation was manifested to all men. As a result of this, it teaches us in order that having denied the ungodliness, that is living a life that does not manifest the character of God, and worldly desires, those are the desires that come from the world system. We're going to be denying those. And while we're denying those, we should live soberly, that is having a proper frame of mind, having a clear mind, and righteously doing the things that are right and godly in this now age. Godliness, of course, is living out the character of Christ. We do this while waiting for the happy hope and appearance of the glory of our great God, even Savior Jesus Christ. Titus not only calls out the fact that Jesus is God here, he also clearly states why we actually live out godliness because we have this hope, this hope that comes from the grace of God, that is the salvation that we have. He goes on to state that it is Christ who gave himself on our behalf, that he should redeem us from all lawlessness and cleanse to himself a peculiar zealous of good works people. That concept of peculiar is one who is um, of one's own possession, of particular people. And we, as members of the church, we are a specific people that God has called out, that he has redeemed from all lawless works. And the lawlessness would be equivalent to sin. We don't manifest sin. We manifest righteousness. Don't let the evil of this world overcome you, but rather overcome it with good. Doing the things that are good because of the hope that we have as we wait for the glorious appearance of our God, even Savior, Jesus Christ.